Hey, it's Chris Matlaszewski with the Built-in Calgary Group. And uh, last week, they did another rate increase. So I guess we're going to try and see here how much of the sales activity for the community of West Hillhurst is going to be affected here in the coming months and other uh, inner city communities. But today, I'm going to delve in and look at the sales performance uh, year to date, as well as over the last month here for the following segments, your single family, the uh, row house detached and uh, pardon me, your semi detached and uh, the apartment sector. So with that being said, why don't I share my screen and, and jump in here? Um, so if we look at um, West Hillhurst, uh, going to go right through this here, starting with detached sales here. So, um, you know, we're definitely down on inventory, as is the rest of the city here right now. Here we can see that um, all in all, um, you know, the um, list to sale price right now, uh, our new listings to uh, sales is, um, is fairly decent right now with a months of supply uh, sitting right now at 3.16. So it's below the city average here. And uh, we can see the average price point in um, West Hillhurst sitting at about $980,000 there. Um, so all in all, uh, things are performing here. Our inventory levels are staying fairly consistent. Uh, you know, with the exception of May, but since uh, the peak of the market here, our inventory levels are hovering around uh, 20 properties here and our days on market um, performing fairly well uh, below the city average, which is nice to see. And our list of sale price right now uh, performing well uh, at 98.3. So um, fairly decent performance uh, for single family. Uh, coming into the semi-attached sector of the market, you're looking at the uh, median price point right now, sitting around $820,000 for year-to-date average. Um, you know, we uh, we didn't have any sales for the month of October there. We had three new listings come on. So that's up to inventory levels a little bit uh, less our homes that expired or came off the market there. And you can see that our month supply is sitting a little bit above the city average right now at 3.55. Uh, days on market uh, higher than uh, the city average. Again, uh, 37 days versus around 29 days. So, you know, something to be aware of there. Uh, looking at uh, the row house sector performing extremely well. Uh, as we talked about this last month, uh, when we did our uh, market update there mid-month and around October 18th, I think it was, um, you know, so the sales, um, no sales, but we really just have like zero inventory. So it's tough to sell something when there's nothing to sell. So if you were thinking about moving up right now, this is the time to do it for, um, you know, if you were thinking about selling and you're in a townhouse slash row house, um, you know, the average sale price right now sitting uh, over uh, $500,000 there, but you may actually be able to take advantage of the lack of inventory and really maximize on uh, on your sale ability. Apartments, same thing. We just have like, zero inventory available to sell um you know again if you've got something and you're thinking about getting a backyard more space more bathrooms uh, a garage you know uh, this would be the time to do it here so that's kind of the breakdown as to what is going on with um inventory levels sales productivity days on market for west tillers if you are thinking about selling and you'd like to know what your home would sell for, uh, just remember, we have a uh, performance guarantee in place where if we can't sell it at an agreed upon price, price, pardon me, we'll pay you the difference. So call us. It's a hassle free, no obligation to you to learn what's going on in your neighborhood. Until then, um, look forward uh, to uh, speaking with you and uh, enjoy the rest of the year. Cheers.